I've already shuffled and I'll also be using two oracle cards for your recent pass. They are the two cards to the very far left side of the screen. Then we'll go over the present time, how your person is seeing you, how you see them, and why this is all happening. So, Leo, in the recent past, we have retreat. And it says, it's time to disconnect from the world. And it's paired with presence. On the flip side of presence, flip side of this current, it's, it reads, bring your mind into the present moment. Now is the only place to be. So... I'm picking up from on the recent past, you probably needed a break from the world or a break from a person or a situation and um, you probably took that break and maybe you went on a trip or you traveled or you, um, maybe it's, show, it's showing that um, uh, two people uh, probably on vacation or some type of getaway. So I'm picking up that that was probably you in the recent past. Or maybe that's something that you wanted to do. You felt like you needed to disconnect from the world. Um, because we have presence, it would have helped to bring your mind into the present time and make you feel that now is the only place to be. Sorry about that, I had to step away for a minute. But, um, so anyway, recent past. You needed a break to disconnect from, from life, to disconnect from probably your surroundings, and it looks like that's probably what you did. And it, it helped to bring your mind back into focus with presence. So, let's move on down and take a look at the present time. We have the Page of Pentacles and it's paired with the Wheel of Fortune. So the Page of Pentacles, it can be about boredom in some ways. You could be tempted to say or do things to shake people up just for some fun and excitement at this time. But let me tell you now, you probably would want to rethink that impulse and find a better use of your energy. We all know that excitement, it, it can be created. But with this page of Pentacles, it's a much better energy to support you when you have somewhat tedious work to get accomplished. This card, it also brings your focus, backbone, and the will to stick to a task that's not necessarily glamorous or fun. When the Page of Pentacles is asking questions about love, relationships, if you're in a committed relationship, it may have lost some of, some of its luster, some of its zest. That doesn't have to mean that it's the end of the relationship, but it does mean that action and discussion is necessary. So to create change, you have to be honest about how you're feeling, and if you are single, Leos, and you get this card in your reading, as you are, you probably find that you can't seem to meet someone new at this time. So you may need to look carefully at what you're holding in your heart. You probably are picking up that you're probably still attached to an ex. And you may need to let go. Let go of that ex, let go of that past person before you can expect to move forward. That's what I'm getting for single people. So, this page of Pentacles is paired with the Will of Fortune. Now, the Will of Fortune, let me tell you what it's about. The Will of Fortune, it reminds us that this too shall pass. Whether it's good times, bad times, it's going to pass. If for some reason you find yourself sitting on top of the world, make sure you keep your perspective 
as that too, like everything else changes, live in the now and count your blessings. And just realize that much of life is really out of our control. But even that should be okay. Just know that you have to roll with the changes and think positive. When this Will of Fortune, it talks about love and relationships. It's possible that a relationship needs to be renegotiated or possibly no longer suiting your needs. This does not mean that if you are in a committed relationship that it's over. It does not mean that. But it only means that you will need to take action to make sure that the relationship makes it. So there'll, there'll need to be a lot of talk and discussions about how you're feeling and that's going to be your best bet. And for single Leos and you get this Wheel of Fortune in a reading, it's about getting very, very clear on exactly who you're looking for, exactly what you're looking for. Then make sure you're getting out there and socializing. Whether it's online or by allowing friends to introduce you to someone that might fit the bill. So, for your present time, we have the Page of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune. Uh, it's basically saying that you might uh, be a little bit bored at this time with this Page of Pentacles coming up in your reading. So you might feel like just doing things, just doing something foolish to shake things up and shake people up for some excitement. But the Page of Pentacles says you don't want to do that. But that's what you're thinking. That's what you're thinking about doing. Just causing a little chaos for fun. And it says use it, it says use this energy that you have right now. Use it in a more beneficial way. Because you have a lot of energy at this time. And because it's paired with the Wheel of Fortune, um, you, you may be a little bored at this time. It, it's early in the in the in the year so things probably haven't quite picked up for you yet but it's gonna pass so you're not gonna be bored for long um, just like the wheel it spins the boredom it's gonna turn around into something else I can't tell you what but it's not gonna last for long being bored at this time because like I said you got the will of fortune it's gonna pass so the Will of Fortune, yeah, it's about transforming and changing. And it's a cycle that you're in right now, but the cycle is moving. So just hang on in there. Don't don't um, piss some people off at this time just because you feel like you need to be doing something. Um, like I said, find a better use. You might want to find a better use of that energy. So... That's what we have for the present time. Now, let's move on down and take a look at how your person is seeing you. The person that you're dealing with. We have the Seven of Swords and Judgment. Now, the Seven of Swords, it can point to someone who is behaving with less than ethical intentions. It sometimes means prying into someone's life where you don't belong. If you sense that someone is spying on you, you're probably right. If you're tempted to dig through someone else's life, unless it's that of your minor child who has given you cause for concern, then you need to resist that impulse because everyone deserves privacy. When you're asking about love and relationship questions and you get the Seven of Swords, if you're already in a committed relationship, it's a clear message that trust is crucial. If you're feeling suspicious for some reason about your partner, make it a point to talk. Talk a lot, communicate a lot about this, even if it's difficult. Because if you decide to be passive aggressive about it, it's, gonna, it's only going to make things worse. And if you're looking for love or relationship at this time, you could possibly meet someone interesting, quite interesting now, but try to avoid appearing as though you just are not interested in a relationship 
because prospective suitors, they will move on to someone who's more engaging. So try to strive for balance. So that's how your person in this connection, that's how they see you. They see you as possibly using strategy, tactics, maybe some manipulations, some games in this connection, um, possibly stalking them or trying to figure out what they do when, or I'm sorry, possibly stalking or you, they see you as possibly trying to figure out what they do when you're not around. That's how they see you. Okay, so it's paired with this judgment card. They also see this connection like a judgment, which is a make or break period. This is a time to get very clear about what you want out of life and out of the connection. And then take steps to make it come about. If you're seeking new love and you get this judgment card, um, a relationship may come about in the near future, but you may need to take steps to make sure that you're not just leaping to conclusions or jumping to conclusions, negative or positive, about your new person and or vice versa. Keep in mind, slow and steady, it wins the race. So, once again, the person that you're dealing with in this connection, they view you as the Seven of Swords in judgment. They think you're using strategy. You're spying on them. You're stalking them. And um, you, they think you might be a little bit manipulative. Probably because they see you with some type of tactics. And it's with this judgment card. So they see you as possibly uh, jumping to conclusions with this judgment card. Your decisions about the connection is too hastily made okay so it, it could be they could be thinking that this is a make or break period and that's how you're thinking they're thinking you think it's a make or break period in this connection because of what we just talked about the seven of swords and, and judgment so once again that's how they see you now let's move on down take a look at how you see them you see them as the Seven of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. Now, the Seven of Pentacles, it's about returns on investments. Now, keep in mind, this can be literal, such as bank accounts returning money to you, or figuratively, such as investments of time and effort and energy that you've put into a relationship, that's coming back to you. You'll be reaping what you've sown at this time. This is usually a positive thing. You should be feeling more secure than you have in a while. Things will be moving along pretty well. And you'll be feeling hopeful about the future with the Seven of Pentacles. With a really good cause. Also, you may have to decide whether to put your energy into things, people, and situations that you already are involved with, or whether to spend your energy trying to bring more into your life. So you'll have to choose wisely with the Seven of Pentacles. And it's um, when it talks about love and relationships, when it comes to love, the Seven of Pentacles, it points to things going well for the person that you have your heart set on. If you are not committed and if you're single and not in a relationship, you probably need to be open to other possibilities. And keep in mind that none of us have just one person. None of us have just one person that is only... Well, let me rephrase that. None of us have just one person that is the only person 
that we can be with and have a deep, soulful, happy relationship. You have to keep that in mind. Some people think you only got one soulful person or one soul connection, but there's many. Um, a lot of times we just don't feel like putting ourselves out there for the other soulmate and you just want to hang on to the past. But there's more than one now. Keep that in mind. Don't give in to feelings of suspicion or fear with this Seven of Pentacles because all is really well. Things should be going well for you with the Seven of Pentacles. Now, you're seeing, this is how you're seeing the person that you're dealing with, the person in your in this connection, you see them as the seven of, of pentacles as um, uh, as the energy that they put into the connection. It's it's coming back to them. It's you see how this lady is watering the plant. I hope you can see that. It's above you, you see them, how you see them. She's watering this plant and she still wants it to grow. You know, it's probably not growing as fast as she'd like for it to, but she, um, she, she's still putting energy and time into it because she believes in it. She believes it's going to still grow and it's a prosperous time. So, she definitely she has a motivation for it and that's just an example of the seven of pentacles um, she's watching it grow so that's how she's getting a return of her time and effort that she's putting into this plan so you see the person in this connection as putting time and energy into the connection and wanting it to continue to grow okay so a return on their investment I hope I'm explaining myself correctly but the example that I gave you of this lady watering the plant she still wants it to, to put energy into it because she wants to see it grow that's a perfect example that's how you see them in this connection wanting, wanting it to still flourish and putting in the time for it so you see them as really wanting this connection to work, to sum everything up. And being that it's paired with the Ten of Pentacles, now the Ten of Pentacles is a very happy indica indicator with regards to love. If you're committed, this card could mean that it'll move to the next level, such as living together, engagement, marriage, childbirth. All those things can be indicated by this card. For a time, you're likely to have a really peaceful, happy period in your life, and you love life. So make sure you enjoy it. Make sure that your lover knows how much they mean to you at this time. And if you're not in a relationship and you get this Ten of Pentacles, this card can mean that a new love may come into your life so fast that it's going to make your head spin. So make sure you be open at this time, Leos. So back to how you see them. You see the person you're dealing with in this connection as really wanting to make this connection grow. And you also see them as this Ten of Pentacles. You see them as wanting to take the connection to the next level, such as living together, engagement, marriage, childbirth. So you see them as really moving forward with this connection. Wanting to make a lot of things happen. Now let's move on down and take a look at why it's all happening. We have the Ten of Swords and it's paired with the Knight of Cups. Now to explain the Ten of Swords, it's about a clear, it's about things being, having a clear signal. You're having a clear signal to be careful about where you put your trust. When the 10 comes up in relation to questions either as in relation to questions as to whether you can believe what a person is telling you or trust that a situation is stable, this is a pr pretty clear answer of no. You 
You cannot trust the situation. However, try to keep in mind that whenever a door closes, another door opens. You're being guided to a situation that's better for you, so trust yourself and trust in the universe at this time. And when we're asking about relationships and love and you get this Ten of Swords, this is sadly not a good card in the tarot for relationships and love. Sometimes, well, not sometimes, but something about the relationship or the love situation you're in is not quite right. So you should ask yourself a lot of questions. Accept the reality. Don't close your eyes to the, to the truth. You cannot force someone to love you or to behave respectfully. And if you have recently met someone new and you're looking for love, uh, keep looking. Because the contenders that you met so far, they're probably not who they seem. Because you see how this man is, he's on his stomach and he's got his back out with the swords on his back. Yeah, he feels stabbed in the back, so trust is an issue. And that's why it's all happening. Because there's some trust issues in this, in this um, connection. Uh, somebody probably feels maybe stabbed in the back or you or your person or both of you can't trust each other or maybe just one of you just you're not trusting the situation so it's paired with this knight of cups now the knight of cups is a very positive card to get Unlike the Ten of Swords, very positive is Knight of Cups. If you're single, this card indicates that someone is about to sweep you off your feet. Because the Knights, they come charging in and they, they're ready to hand you their cup of love. Um, and if you're in a relationship, the Knight can indicate that commitment, marriage, it can mean that with this Knights. If you're in a relationship... Now, keep in mind, at the least, in the context of love, when you get this Knight of Cups, at the least, this card can mean positive messages. Things that you'd like to hear. They're coming in. They're coming in for you. So you have to be open to exploring your feelings. So, you know, why this is all happening is because there's some trust issues here in this connection someone probably sometimes or always or a lot of times feel like the connection is a failure sometimes someone could be feeling defeated in this connection um, someone or both of you could feel like um, the connection is rock bottom with this ten of swords um, but it's basically about trust. There's some trust concerns in this connection. And being that it's with this Knight of Cups, someone is always trying to make it right. Someone is always trying to, to come in and fix it with this Knight of Cups. Someone is um, always um, being optimistic and being loving towards this connection so that's with the knight of cups um but then there's still those the ten of swords uh it can be painful this connection sometimes can be painful but it's all happening because Either the both of you or one of you, you're, you're still hanging in there, offering that cup of love, charging in when things are rough and painful. So, that's why it's all happening. Trust issues, but someone's keeping it going because they're 
continuing to offer that cup of love because the knights is a it, someone's charging in and just saying yes no we can do this let's uh uh they're not ready to to run away they're they're ready you see how this man is facing forward and he's charging in they want to work on the issues that the two of you have and that's why it's all happening so leo i hope you enjoyed this reading there's going to be a link below of the extended of this reading where i'll go over how you both feel about the situation what's in the near future for the two of you how you see yourself best case scenario and what's going to happen between the two of you in the next few weeks i just want to say i thank you so very much for watching please comment subscribe hit the notification bell that way you'll get notified when i post my next reading i also want to say that i hope you're enjoying 2020 and i hope that you have a great day and once again thank you so very much for watching